Okay guys, so just uh, ordered the boat taxi and uh, here we are. Just ordered the boat taxi, yes the taxi just coming around. This is our last night and uh, sorry I've got my mask on here but so, as you know guys, it's uh, really helpful when you've got somebody that can speak the language. <laughs> anyway, this is our uh, Beach Road, eh? Beach Road? I think the Beach Road near... Um, you know what? Oh, near the police station. Yeah. Oh, I don't say time to do all that. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Huh? Central Festival area is okay, that's no problem. Okay, man, but then I hit, 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 then I Anyway, guys, um, aye, this is our last night tonight. It's uh, 14th of January. Uh, tomorrow I've got a flight from Dongmong Airport to um, up to Roy Et and um, we're going to Taz's house in Kalasin. Stay there a couple of weeks, relax. Uh, village life again. Uh, I actually did a previous video on, on uh, Kalasin. Uh, you can have a look at that. Anyway, I uh, want to head off and uh, do some uh, footage tonight. Now, see all the stuff that I've done previous. I just feel as if it's obsolete now because there's that many changes taking place. Uh, the bars are shutting at 9 o'clock now and they're getting very strict for about it. Now that might change pretty soon. Uh, it can change in days. Uh, I wonder if I can pan around in the taxi and let you see but but nah, it's the matter. Later in the video, we're going to be walking up Soy Bacal to come back anyway. Tree Town and stuff, so you'll be able to see what's going on. I'm sorry, that I know that you've seen a million videos on Patia's nightlife, but I just want to get something up to date uh, just for you. Because it's changing quite a lot. Anyway, I'll get back to you as soon as we get down there. So, guys, I didn't want to throw my camera in people's face. You know, I hate disturbing anybody's privacy. So, uh, no, I really have to say it's quite busy, isn't it? Um, so you can you can probably see it as we're passing. I should maybe uh, <laughs> see if I can sort of pan around. I don't know why. I just don't think it's fair that I should catch anybody's identity and disturb their privacy. I think it's rude. However, I understand that sometimes it's uh, it can be helped. Um, I can pan around now. People are wearing their masks. So, identity is not revealed. <laughs> now, uh, where are we? So that's up to sign nine. <laughs> yeah. The shrine. <laughs> There's nothing actually in English there that I can give you any information. And of course you've got the royal family at the background there. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll maybe take a walk across the road because it's really quite quiet over here now. So we can go across the road along and we've managed to reach the Beach Road side of the, the Central Festival uh, shopping mall. Uh, as you can see, the, the Christmas tree lights are all still up there, you know. Uh, we'll pan around us couple of wee stalls just here. Uh, fruit shakes. 
tell you what, that's, that's uh, oh, no, it's mango, sorry, what am I mistaken, sorry, that's uh, pom o, pom o, which is like a massive grapefruit, um, this is the mango and sticky rice, what, what's uh, time? Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, that's right. And uh, of course you've got all the different types of shakes and stuff like that there, so that's good. Coconuts, amazing. So we've got some of the, the barbecue, some of the barbecue sticks. You've got the, the chicken and the squid. Yeah. Sausage. Fresh prawns, of course. <laughs> Potato. They're lovely, these curly. Potato, eh? Man farang. Man farang. I only just recently learned it. Well, we know that farang is, or farang is uh, westerner. Uh, but for now it's also potato. So, uh, some cooked chicken. Guy taught, as they say. So this is Fen Central Festival. Uh, big shopping mall there. And of course, uh, it's right under the Hilton Hotel. And it stretches up there for quite a bit. So pan around guys, let you have a look and see what's going on again. As usual. They try my best to try. So we're actually going to walk back along. Um, because there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of high... There's a chicken donut on a skewer. Amazing stuff. Chicken kebab. More sausages and... Grill. You just select what you want and they sit and stick it on the grill for you. Sterilised milk, alright. Well, there you go. From a distance, I don't want to take, but you can see there, it is quite busy, so we're not going to uh, take anybody because uh, they're right close to us. So I'll just put the video on me. I think it's important to understand that there is a lot of, you know, uh, street workers, people, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, a lot of people who are here who just don't want to be filmed, and, and quite rightly so. Last thing I would like is for someone to stick a camera in my face. Uh, anyway, I'm going to switch the camera off now, guys. Uh, in fact, I might be able to run it on a wee bit further, hang on. <coughs> Saw you. Okay guys, uh, we're here. Uh, we came in to Stolen Beach Road. Uh, I'll pan around in a minute. We've came out uh, the Kamikaze. It's a Japanese uh, restaurant. Hi, so um, I'll let you have a look at the, the salad bar street once you've actually ordered your drink. Uh, and I'm just going to pan around. I need around. to show you. I'll show you. I show so you. So I've got some salad there. I've got some sauces, some fruit salad there, tomatoes and some coleslaw and onions and stuff. Uh, I've got myself a meat, tonic water there. But. Uh, yeah, this is going to be as cheap as chips uh, and we're going to get tucked into this and we'll uh, show you the main courses when it comes along. Okay guys, so that, that's the end of the meal um, in the Kamikaze restaurant. Um, I would say it was just average, you know, uh, enjoyed the salad more than anything else to be honest. <laughs> the grilled pork was lovely. Um, Sarah's uh, Sarah was saying uh, the ship up. No. What do you think was? Yeah. <laughs> near the lake, but not the Near the sea, but the seafood feels really fresh. Uh, I, I, 
I, I think it would be. That's a lot. Really good. It's no good. Ah, the salad was lovely. Mm. Funny enough, the salad was the only thing. It was free. <laughs> it was free. Free. Salad was beautiful. And anyway, it doesn't matter. I think it's, it's very much. I don't think it's fair, really, to to, uh, to judge a restaurant just popping in and having something quickly in a way. It's a great setting. Uh, it's a nice place. People are quite friendly, so. Hey, I would recommend people to come and try for themselves for sure. So that's, uh, we're, we're really at the end, but we are going to go up and we'll have a look at the town and see what it is. Because we have to walk through um, the the car, walk through 7 or 8, and uh, yeah, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll go up through Soy 7, up maybe even Soy Diana, Soy Bacal, and then back to the hotel and let you have a look and see what's going on and you can make up your own mind of course uh, what we'll do is uh, so you've uh, Taz been here four days have you enjoyed yourself? do you like Patia? Yeah, I like Patia now really good not busy not busy not busy not too Let, quiet not, not, not too quiet not, not too quiet but not too busy yeah uh, better, very good. The weather's very good, yeah. Better, yeah. very good. Better, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you like the, you were saying that you like the, the views. Yeah, and I the like view. Chale, the view, sea. Chale, food, <laughs> some food. Food, I have a food, some really yeah. nice food. Very much a restaurant, Indian. Indian ah, restaurant. No. I'm amazed at the amount of Indian restaurants that are here. Yeah. Indian and I've never had a bad one. Yeah. I must have had about 10 since I've been here. <laughs> but honestly, I've never, and I've never had a bad morning with one either. And that's saying something, really. Back home, if I have a really hot vindaloo or something like that, I'll, I'll know about it the next day. But here, I've, hit, I've eaten yeah. really hot, hot food in here. And yeah. Anyway, guys, we're we, gonna take... we, we can walk around. Yeah, we're gonna have uh, you walk around here. Mm, uh, the beach. Is, ah, we'll go over to the beach part. There's not really the, that much there to show you. But, um, yeah, if there's so anything there. Walk out, right? so I Sorry? Walk out. So I walk yeah, out. we'll come back uh, when we're walking up the road through the, the city and let you have a look. The city? It's only just soys and streets. Mm. When we're walking through the center, we'll, uh, we'll let you see what's going on then, guys. See you in a bit. Hey guys, I'll, I'll let you have a wee look at the the light show. I don't know if it, you're going to get uh, quite popular with the kids, of course. I don't know uh, how it's going to come out in the video, though. I think you might get a lot of flickering on the beach of course it's been here for a good month or so Still up, so we can I'll just at the famous corner area. Uh, you've got the weather spoons on the left hand side there, and uh, some of the bars here, quite busy. I had a Caesar salad in that weather spoons uh, two or three times, and it's absolutely amazing. Chicken Caesar salad, fried chicken, and uh, Beautiful salad.
hair salons and even the little market stalls that are selling fruit skewered kebabs uh, it's an abundance of food always in Thailand all the exchange shops are open as you can see and uh, the exchange rate today was about 45 baht uh, 0.55 to the pound which is I think it's probably been the best I've seen it since I've been in Thailand over the last couple of months uh, I hope the microphone's doing its job I've got it right up closely on my lapel collar and uh, so yeah little food market on the right hand side here uh, lots of fried grilled foods here fish and on the left hand side we're going up and of course that fruit, little fruit market's been there for probably a few years by the looks of it Anyway, we'll wait till it gets a bit busier and we'll switch it back on again. We'll walk up this little bit. Some car that is, eh? There's Ta. Wait, hello Ta. <laughs> The trench down. <laughs> Couldn't have timed that any better, guys. A lot of bars up on the right-hand side here, and on uh, sort of a bar complexes on both sides. Really good, actually. So, as you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff going on um, in the bars. A lot of music loud and that's not my scene guys it's not my scene i don't know i like it loud i hate having to shout at the top of my voice because somebody's standing right next to me you know nothing worse kind of hear yourself think hmm. so just again guys just as a reminder that it's uh, the 14th of january it's a Friday evening and it's uh, about quarter to nine and the bars will be closing in about 15 minutes and we've just timed it perfectly to walk up uh, Soy Bacal and this is only one street of many uh, remember that there are plenty of places in here in central Patia where the, there's a lot of life going on the only thing that I've been hearing that the people have been doing is that they've just been coming out a bit earlier and uh, they make a night yet that way so if you want to go out and do six eight hours then fine you can do that get yourself out at three o'clock in the afternoon and you'll have a good day because everything's open then now here on the right hand side there's a complex on the right hand side and there's a lot of new stuff happening up here. I believe Trevor um, from Buzz and Patia uh, up there on the right hand side. Uh, something's going to be happening there. Uh, I'll try and keep the camera on me as much as I can on me and Ta. I'll keep the camera on Ta. How's that? It's better than me. And we'll have a look through this area. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah, I've been coming through this area um, most nights just monitoring what's been going on because it's this area that uh, it's quite busy because it's this area that uh, I pass through 
while I'm on my way down to next bar at the A7 DJ bar and I've been spending every day there, I have to admit guys um, I don't know if I've even told you guys, I didn't drink alcohol, I've been off off the bevy for uh, 16 years now and uh, I could still come out and have a great time and uh, I'll just a wee footnote and I'm going to plug my other channel if you or you know anybody that's having issues with alcohol there's a wee channel called why me why me and it's all about the denial and the early stages of uh, assessing whether you've got an issue or not jump over to that channel you'll recognize the guy who's running that channel as well say no more Anyway, back to business. This is Tree Town, guys. Okay, Tree Town. Uh, and it's uh, really nice. I'll show it in. It's really nice. Uh, and it's fairly busy in there as well, guys. This is just how I like it because I couldn't stand coming here and not being able to get a seat in these places. It's nothing worse. And uh, this is uh, an area that I find extremely busy and it is actually very busy tonight but Taz walked away there she is are you coming or are you <laughs> Come on. walking about with a camera and talking isn't it I know get a lot of these dried dried fish they are dried eh and maybe and they good and you like all right and they cook them on the wee grills there it's supposed to be really nice but actually to be honest with you, i'm not a seafood lover i'll tell you and it's minging oh i need to get away for that because it's making me boat <laughs> so anyway uh hi so here we are but these bars are all going to be closing in about five or ten minutes guys and uh the chances are there might be a police presence uh, 9 o'clock or maybe even just after but uh, here there's no point in uh, walking any further up here because they've switched all the lights off and stuff like that and the people are people are just drinking up now so we'll go back the way and uh, I'll let you I'll uh, come back in about five minutes guys Famous soy, this one, soy pothole, for obvious reasons, and uh, bar on the left hand side, uh, the triangle bar, has been closed maybe for a couple of weeks now, I think they had a wee, a wee Covid scare in there, um, so the, the bar owner uh, quite rightly never took any chances, done the right thing and uh, isolated everybody so I need a name 
This is soy chaya pum. Or soy pothole. People call it soy pothole because of the holes in the road. It's quite famous for having big holes in the road, so. I think it's soy 25. I wish I knew a bit more about Pattaya guys. I don't really know that much, to be honest with you. Just a tourist, really. And uh, at the end of the day, I can certainly kind of give you a geography lesson in the streets around Pattaya. Yeah. Well, what I'll do, I think, uh, what I'll do is uh, call it a day, I think, really. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think we'll call it a day, finish. Finish. Because, I mean, it's a bit unfair trying to show you places and streets when it's now all closed. Quiet. It's amazing how yeah. quick it just suddenly dies down at nine o'clock on the dot. Uh, I've heard stories where the police have been involved in a few of the bars and there's been some hefty fines and even, even uh, minor jail uh, sentences handed out to bar owners. Uh, so there's no point in us um, no, carrying on with the video any further. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's dark up there as well. Yeah, everything's closed now. The, the hotel is this way. Hotel. Yeah. This way. So we're just going to go back to the hotel. We're going to. Uh, I'm going to edit this video quickly, and there's not much editing to do. I'd rather just let you see it raw. Uh, if I could get away with doing it live, I probably would. I might look into that. So, um, right. So if you're interested, guys. Uh, and you want to help us keep going, doesn't cost you a penny, just click subscribe. Uh, just click like, thumbs up, uh, I'd appreciate that. Um, tomorrow we'll be on our way to taxi up towards um, Dong Mung. Bangkok. Bangkok. <laughs> and uh, you get up to, to Dong Mung, we're going to get a flight for there, up to Roy Yet. See the beauty, eh? <laughs> Up to Royet. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go from Royet to Callison. Stay there for maybe a week or so. Mm -hmm. Maybe even further up towards... Uh, Everybody choose come to Pattaya. <laughs> if, go, have, huh? if have a... Uh, if have time. If you've got time, mm -hmm. you should come to Pattaya. <laughs> I would say so. Why not? Because I'll tell you what, this has got everything I want. Just because I didn't drink, doesn't mean to say I can't enjoy myself. I've a ball, I've had a blast over the past couple of months here, guys. An absolute blast. And uh, some people say to me, how do you manage to, how do you cope? How do you cope no drinking in Pattaya? I say, I'll tell you how I cope. I wake up in the morning, six o'clock, get down to the beach for seven, have my breakfast about eight, Walk up down the beach, read, <laughs> do some editing on my videos, or do some videos, and then, you know, get back home, have a shower, and by that time they're sick of listening to me. And my day's nearly over and it's only 11 o'clock. I spend another two or three hours at the pool and then guys that have been drinking all night get up in the morning, in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, hey. Horses for courses, you do what you want to do, as long as you enjoy yourself. But that's how I cope without a drink. And I say to them, can you cope without a drink? And they go, okay, of course I could. Why ask me that question? Have I got something on my forehead there that says I can't handle it? <laughs> anyway guys, listen, let's call it a day. I'll, call, uh, I'll speak to you tomorrow and a uh, new video on our way up to Carlison. Hope you tune in, remember, subscribe and uh, see if you can keep us and support us. Be great. I realise that there's many, many channels uh, doing the same sort of thing, and I just hope that it becomes a wee bit more of a personal thing. And I just hope that uh, 
I'm going to try and see if I can bring a little bit something interesting. This, I would say, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't have found this much interest in this video because uh, all it is is walking around the streets and stuff like that and chatting away and let you see what's going on. That's important to see what's uh, to see what's open and uh, to see if you can make your mind up for what you see. Um, I think things can only get better. I can't see again any worse. Nah, Thailand would completely disable itself if it did that, and I think the government even know that. Uh, I don't even know if the bars that are open could probably stand another lockdown. Um, and I've spoke to a few of them, so I can't see things getting any worse, guys. Song Kran's the next thing to look forward to, and that's from the April. Remember, guys, it starts getting a lot warmer then. Uh, Song Kran Festival, eh? And, uh, yeah. So, I've already said goodbye. So, take care. Bye. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> and from Patia and Soy Pothole. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>